I swear she always causing panic every time we pop out I got about a hundred problems, but a bitch ain't one Got about a hundred problems, getting rich ain't one Yeah, I got a hundred problems, but a bitch ain't one Got about a hundred problems, getting rich ain't one Getting rich ain't one I'm messaging you off the stream Uh, Mods, pull up if you want to do a, a, di a Discord thing Whoops there will be a day where you'll be indeed be locking. I've never been locking in my whole life. Unlike these YouTubers, you ruined. Oh, fuck, I did it too late. Fuck. I'm gonna pretend I didn't. Hold on. Rewind. There will be a day where you will be indeed locking. I will never get caught locking. Unlike these YouTubers who ruined their image with one single video, they indeed got caught locking. Scissors is the ice cube. Kelsey, catch him not. It's a mad down. And it 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 titled my girlfriend alexia died rest in paradise last night we lost alexia <laughs> around 11 p.m i got a call from her parents nigga why parents. why j station stated that why when alexia had gotten into a car crash and as a result wait Co column's corner still uploads alex remind, remind me after this remind me after this remind me after this passed away this is so corny also go and visit his girlfriend's memorial on is the, the mic good by the way chat this is actually the same road that she passed away on Bro, so clickbait in your girl's death for clout Jay is crazy. Is so emotional that he could barely get out of the car to look. Hey man, everything's gonna be okay. Let's just go say the final goodbye for her. Everything's gonna be okay. I don't know if I can do this. However, his extremely emotional This acting is crazy. Ran contrary to a video that he'd post three days later, titled Dead Girlfriend <laughs> Wings Board Challenge at 3 a.m. Gone Wrong, in which he couldn't <laughs> okay. stop smiling. Okay. Okay. On my dead girlfriend. <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, bag is a bag. Chase a bag. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Yo, shit, man. Dead girlfriend Ouija board challenge gone wrong. Make sure you smash like, subscribe. If this video gets 10,000 likes, my girlfriend will come back from the dead. Hell yeah, chat. Hell yeah, guys. Nigga. <laughs> 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 I was trolling. Like, okay, I was supposed I was supposed to, I was to. Look at Derek Queen's message. I bet, bet, bet. I'll go right now. Complete lack of emotion in this new video. Led fellow Canadian. He did. I bought a slave off the dark mark. Off the dark web as well. Is this nigga still posting? To call the Canadian police and see if any Alexia Morano had recently passed away. No, I don't have anything by that name on the system. Nobody by that name specifically has suffered any form of death, right? No. <gasps> this nigga got the same keyboard as me. As mentioned by the police officer, nobody by the name of Alexia had died. And after other channels such as Penguin Zero covered the story, Alexia came forward to confirm that she was still alive. I'm sure a lot of you are really confused as to what's going on right now uh, between me and Jay and the videos that he posted. Oh my Alexia God. would go on to explain that she had nothing to do with the Jay Station videos. Oh my I was God. not a part of any of them. It was just Jay. And I didn't even oh know what God. he was going to say in those videos before he posted. Them. And as a result, the two had broken up. I felt like he was just constantly being mean to me for some reason. Oh my god, guys, because you guys smashed your like button, my girlfriend came back to life. Oh my gosh, guys, thank you so much. Make sure to smash like on this video. To no, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Like I'm done, 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 done. This is not. This is not. Sorry. Over, this is not funny. Clapped back by showing Alexia helping out with the videos before trying to expose Alexia as being the crazy one out of the pair. You are honest to God crazy. I've been a good person to you, Alexia. This Damn. one original video Doo -doo. didn't only I'm hanging up. collapse of their relationship. I'm hanging up. Also eventually result in J Station's entire channel being deleted. Therefore, J Station probably should have gotten some advice from Sam Pepper. Mm. Um, yo, this was crazy. This was crazy. 
This was crazy. Goddamn dead friend killing, murdering, kidnapping my friend prank gone wrong. It went by the now infamous title, Killing Best Friend Prank, and it began with Sam stating this. Let's see how he reacts to his best friend of five years being killed in front of him. The premise of the prank what was the that two fuck? friends get taken to a rooftop somewhere, where one of the friends who was in on the prank is shot with a fake gun to see how the other friend will react. Even though they eventually reveal that the whole thing was one giant prank, the absolute magnitude of the stunt helped it to go viral, racking up over 9 million views That's in crazy. over three weeks. But while the extremity of the video helped it to go viral, the prank also began to receive an unbelievable amount of backlash. Oh, damn. It was obvious that Sam didn't care about the controversy in the beginning, as he'd respond to the drama by promising to delete his YouTube channel if he was donated 1.5 million on GoFundMe. <laughs> okay. Pretty steep here. <laughs> Chase the bag. Dollars. Chase the bag, I guess. If everyone hates my channel so much, they gotta put that money where their mouth is, you know? Yet this only seemed to add more fuel. I mean, I'm not going to say he's wrong. You know what I'm saying? As he was still getting heavy backlash over three months later, at which point it became all too much to handle. Sam Pepper would not only delete the original prank, but he'd rather unlist every single video from his entire channel. What the fuck? Leaving only one fresh new upload titled I'm Sorry. Game's the game, facts. And explain that the video was fake. No wonder people hate me. Like, I've been an idiot. Like, I've been stupid. You know exactly what I'm going to say now. Of course, it was fake. However, it was fake. Video was fake. Sam Pepper has since had some success on TikTok, his channel never really recovered after posting. Did he still post? I know he does like crypto scams and shit now. Uh, uh. Damn. Damn. Wait, this cop is this? It's not the same guy, right? It's not the same guy. Oh my god, it is. Damn. This nigga doing a subathon. <laughs> this nigga doing a subathon. Damn. Turn volume down low for this. This is going to be TOS. Feel it in my bones. We are making Kermit the Frog tree. Okay. I'm, I'm going to check that after. Sam Pepper has since had some success on TikTok. His channel mm. never really recovered after posting the best friend prank. Brooke Hout's channel never recovered. Oh either. God! As don't play that. Accidentally Please don't. Of her mistreating okay. her dog, her reputation was destroyed permanently. Why do people abuse animals, video, bro? Brooke Houts had gained three hundred and twenty-seven. Why do people abuse? Which we abuse animals, bro? On her channel had been aided by her pet Doberman named Sphinx. Brooke always put up. Play it. I checked it. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay. I thought I was about to say a slur or some shit. Listen to me. Don't play that shit. I need to see. 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 We are making Kermit the Frog drink the gay potion. I'm a bad nigga, but you are me in a Tesla. Wait.
obviously me and my dog are really close. We're besties. We hang out 24-7, more like 25-8, am I right? However, less than a month after stating this, on the 6th of August 2019, Brooke would accidentally upload a full uncut clip of her pranking the dog while treating it like absolute garbage. As Damn! The spread throughout social media, almost every single news outlet wrote an article on the story. Trey, yo, chat. next up, I'm listening to Trey. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to Trey. I'm listening to Trey. I'm listening to Trey. Almost every single I was in wrote an article on the story, prompting a change.org petition titled Ban Brooke Houts from YouTube, which received over 67,000 signatures. Peter would also take to Twitter in a post hoping- Don't think you slick reported. Incredibly, her channel remained active, helping her to post a bizarre apology video about a month after the original incident. First, I want to start this video by- I, Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. She has a very punchable face. She has a ve like. Is that bad? Can I say that? Can I say that? Oh fuck! Can I have admin what, what, in, in the Discord? Can I do that? Do I? Okay, bet, bet, bet. I got you. Thank you. I just want to genuinely say thank you. Although this video did nothing to fix her image, as after taking a it's the nose. Mm. Should return with an upload titled "Where I've Been." No one cares where you've been. Impressively terrible, ninety-eight percent dislike ratio. Damn. Defying just how much damage this one video had done. However, at least Brooke was never arrested for the controversy, as when Count Dankula posted a two-minute <laughs> Count Dankula clip of his Count dog, Dankula end up appearing in court. The video was was uploaded in April 2016, and the premise was as follows. Girlfriend is always ranting and raving about how cute and adorable her wee dog is. So I Uh, it's time for. I'm, I'm gonna speak to him after. I'm gonna speak to him after. Ch ch um, I, done, I done gave this nigga too many chances, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I done gave this nigga too many chances, bro. I done gave this nigga too many chances, bro. Too many. Like, I, I, I think it's probably ten. Why is he time, bro? That clip had the f slur in it, bro. You cut like. Listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get hurt. My fault. 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 The least cute thing that I could think of. In order to achieve this, Count Dankula taught his dog to perform a very controversial salute, with the video racking up 2 million views in the weeks after it was uploaded. Initially, the video was seen as a bit of comedic fun. However, on the 18th of February 2017, approximately 10 months later, Count Dankula would post a picture to Twitter confirming that he'd been arrested and would have to appear in court for posting the video. Five months later, yeah, yeah, fine, that's fine. Count Dankula would take to Twitter once again, stating, Trial starts tomorrow, no jury, only a judge. But it will be an open trial, as in members of the public can attend. And as a result, many fans showed their support at the trial. Chad, do you think he should have been taken to court for that? <laughs> I think he said Kanye is a dog. Do you think so? It's kind of fucked up. I don't... Maybe... Mm. He taught his dog to do the the bad salute, the or to raise its arm and do the shit. Newbie should be in court. Freedom. I mean, it's fucked up. It's fucked. But it's not. He didn't abuse the animal. He didn't abuse the animal. You know what I'm saying? He said, "Don't go." That's funny. I mean, it's like I don't think he should have been taken to court because obviously the dog, unless unless he holds. <laughs> Send the dog to jail. Unless he actually holds those views, which it doesn't appear like he did. I don't think that. You know what I'm saying? However, this didn't seem to have any impact on the decision made by the judge. He got locked up. Dankula guilty and ordered him to pay a $1,000 fine. The judge stated, as a matter of law, the test is not whether the video was offensive, but whether it was grossly offensive. I concluded that your video was not just offensive, but grossly so grossly well menacing. Menacing? Count Dankula was able to overcome this hiccup and still maintains his popularity. Just when the dog runs up to you on the shit instead of barking at you, he just does that. On YouTube up until this day. <laughs> That's However, fucked up. That was 
wasn't uh, member Ned Fulmer, whose what did entire he do? career came to a crashing end Is after that? a single video was posted of Ned cheating on his wife. The girl in the video was fellow BuzzFeed employee Alex Herring, who had been Damn. in BuzzFeed videos with Ned before. And after the screenshot of the two kissing went viral, a bunch of other evidence surfaced to confirm that Damn. Ned was seeing each other. These the niggas are stalking the old. Yeah, so not only because Ned, his wife, and Alex were all public figures, but because Ned's main shtick within the videos was that he loved his wife so much and was there. Wait, wasn't this recent? Oh, that armpit hair is. Is that armpit hair? Is. Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh, that's insane. Within the oh, that's insane. That he loved his oh, that's wife insane. so much and was there. Oh, that's insane. Oh, that's insane. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Wait, was this not recent? extremely dedicated to the marriage ned was literally known as the wife guy and would constantly four months ago yeah how much he loved this was her. recent i remember this people have made compilations on youtube of him mentioning her as a result of the scandal ned was fired from his high status position as one of the try guys which was followed by the group posting their own video to explain yeah four months yeah yeah they remember Former this is no longer working with the try guys we found Damn. that ned had engaged in conduct unbecoming of our team and we knew that we could not move forward with him he's now been fucking with a has completely embarrassed his wife and two Fuck with children. Her has. Turns out Mr. Nice Guy Dependable isn't so Fuck with nice her has. after all. Ned Fulmer had months to stop his event I mean lapse. However, PewDiePie wasn't quite Ooh. so Ooh. Ooh. I think he didn't do anything illegal. Pewd, it's either the Fiverr one, the it's either the five one when he got the guys to write death to all blanks on the thing, or it's the bridge one. One of the two. One of the two. One of the two. Lucky, as after making a single joke in a single video, he'd accidentally changed the social media landscape forever. This is the, I think it's the Fiverr one. Titled, I've it's, it's, the it's the Fiverr one. It's the Fiverr. And it was posted it's, on it's the, the 11th of January 2017. I remember this. The premise was that PewDiePie was testing out the website Fiverr. Yeah. There's a website called Fiverr. Yeah. Basically, can ask anyone for anything for five dollars. And therefore, you never heard of this, bro? This it took him a couple years to get rid of people calling him the Nazi. It took him it took him a couple years to get rid of that like that association with him. You didn't hear this was big. Might suspect. This caused the adpocalypse, if you remember. This is when hella advertisers started pulling out of YouTube. Like hella advertise like YouTube went through like a drought in this period. It wasn't all that controversial in the hard opinion. fit though order a subscribe message from jesus pay to have his pictures photoshopped and even had someone sing to him in hebrew however it will be after oh one no of the guys dancing in the jungle that things became yep. controversial he as a part of the fiverr deal pewdiepie was oh, given the no. opportunity to write a five word message which the guys would hold up on a sign in the video well pewdiepie decided to have a bit of fun with it and wrote an anti-semitic phrase just to see if they'd do it and as you can tell from pewdiepie's reaction they, they did. certainly did, leading PewDiePie to state this. I didn't think they would actually do it. I feel partially responsible, but just I didn't think they would actually do it. Like, I'm not anti-Semitic or whatever it's called. Okay, so don't get the wrong idea. It was a funny meme, and I didn't think it would work. Okay. Which was followed by the video being uploaded as usual. However, the response that the video generated oh, no. wasn't usual, as only three days later, articles began to pop up explaining oh, that no. had been dropped by his Disney-owned multi-channel. Oh no! This is sad. Pie, other advertisers such as Johnson & Johnson, the UK government, Bro, Bro did the Kanye. Pepper, removed all advertising from the platform. New Ultimate Ninja Storm confirmed? Is there a trailer? Besides, we'll go good second content. In order to get these advertisers to return, YouTube introduced the demonetization of non-family friendly content. Yeah. Some creators to instantly lose more than half of their revenue. Yeah, I told you the ad apocalypse was crazy. With us, our YouTube money was cut by more than sixty. There's a trailer. I'll check it. Since made a pretty good argument for why the ad apocalypse wasn't really his fault. However, there was definitely no argument that Ryan Taylor. Oh no. After Ryan Taylor, he's the nigga that got boxed by swarms right oh fuck and then he get knocked out by someone else 
surfaced a completely unhinged video titled Nerf War in Toys R Us. The video began with the explanation that Toys R Us oh, was no. closing down permanently, and therefore it would serve as the perfect oh, place no. to have a Nerf War before they officially closed. However, for the exact same reason, the staff members seemed completely unconcerned about keeping their jobs and began to tackle the boys instantly. Oh shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. After this I ain't getting paid enough to do all that, bro. I ain't getting paid enough to do all that, bro. Just I'm just letting them do their thing, bro. The manager will deal with it, bro. Occurred, the conflict escalated further. You have no authority, bro, so I'll slam you back. Don't try and touch me, bro. Believe in you. Bro, bro, ah, this is so annoying, bro. This is so... Bro, people that just disturb other people. Niggas doing his 9 to 5. Nigga doing his job. And you just want to be a dickhead, like... Please, bro. Please. What's up? What's up? Bro, that's not gonna end good. I'm telling you right now. Young Mooch, I bet, 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 bet. Which eventually resulted in them being kicked out and wrecking half of the store in the process. The video most certainly received a mixed response. Some people saw it as a hilarious piece of entertainment, while others saw Ryan as nothing more than an idiot messing with low wage workers who were yeah, this is fucked up. to lose their jobs. But yep. while Ryan Taylor had some support for the controversial video, the same couldn't be said for Logan Paul. Who Ooh. Quite possibly helped the gold trophy for the most damage done to a reputation as the result of logan paul's comeback was cool and then he and fucked it again lock. three words that transport everybody back to the 31st of december 2017 when i remember bro i remember happened. seeing this video on youtube i remember i remember seeing it it was on it was on trending on front page on home page but i never clicked on it i saw it i literally saw the japan vlog i, I saw it. it like it was fresh and I, I didn't click on it though. I didn't click on it. And then and then all this happened. Because I, I wasn't a Logan Ball nigga like that. Of, um, for New Year's, slowing it down, like going somewhere that's really isolated. So we're in Tokyo, Japan, right? I figured this was the perfect time to do it. Because if you look to my right, Lo Gang, I give you the Aoki Gahara. That's so. Mm. After deciding to camp in the forest, Logan and his crew found someone who had recently passed away. And while Logan was extremely serious mm -mm -mm. in the beginning, it wouldn't be long before he began to make jokes. At this point in time, Logan was one of YouTube's most hated creators. So when mm -mm -mm. he uploaded the video, What's good, Tractor Chan? Perfect storm for the entire world to pile on with criticism. The pressure put on Logan prompted the now iconic "So Sorry" apology. Mm -mm -mm. That was severe and continuous and lapse in my judgment. In my judgment. Mm -mm -mm. This video received over 60 million views, making it quite possibly the most well-known mistake in YouTube history. Logan was eventually able to repair his reputation. Yeah, using yo, some very that's a good strategies. He plugged the next video without even saying it. That's fire. What's good, Tractor Chan? Young Mooch, I bet, I bet, I bet. Let me check. Uh, let me check thingy first. Let me check this. Uh, oh. all. <laughs> all these niggas lame like. How you not gonna be real, nigga? You fake. Damn, you baby, fucking fake. Hey, Chad, what you call? Huh? Lame ass nigga. Huh? Lame ass nigga. Huh? Lame ass nigga. Huh? Lame ass nigga. Huh? Your money gets small. My money get bigger. She fuck with the squad. Huh? She fuck my niggas. Huh? Lame ass nigga. Huh? 